What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Vintage Magic Legacy Modern Cube Draft. It's none of those things, it's just Legacy Cube Drafts. So I guess it's one of those things, I don't know why I said none. Is it Cryptic Command? Is it Snappy? Is it just open on Gaia's Cradle like we do? I don't know what to take here. I'm going to let you guys pick for me. Cradle and Green Ramp? Wow. Over Cryptic Command and Snapcaster? I think you guys know I probably want the, the blue cards, but... Okay, we're not taking port. <laughs> What's up, Tin Man? Alright, so you guys are... A lot of you guys are saying Cradle. I think we can take a Cradle. We... I don't think we've been very green, so... Tyler Ray! Thank you so much, man. I'm glad you went to the trouble of... Uh, logging into a browser and uh, subscribing through that. Some people have a real hard time with doing that. It's really weird. I guess they could make it easier. You hear Hunter in the background? Atarka could wheel. Elves of Deep Shadow is probably the worst green one-mana elf. Idiot. Oh, I don't begrudge people for not subscribing. That's totally fine. I understand that. I begrudge people when they uh, when they when they have to subscribe on like a mobile device or a laptop, and they just don't take the time to like subscribe on their on their browser because they have to do that. God, those people are just the worst, right? I'm gonna take is it mimic, mimic fat over like Oath of Nissa or Elves of Deep Shadow? Alright, you guys are, like, three of you are saying Mimic Vat. So I'm going to take this Mimic Vat. Oh, okay, this is the guy we want. This is the gentleman we're looking for. One mana green elf. Guy's cradle. Seems good. Oh my god, Hunter is being actually ridiculous. Is it Genesis Wave? Do we just Genesis Wave? I like Gaia's cradle into Genesis Wave. I don't think this is the Frank Lepore. I imagine it is, is one of many Frank Lepores. There, there are a lot of multiverses. And I am one of many. Uh, hopefully I'm doing our, our name justice. I, I don't want to make us look bad, but... You know. I cannot vouch for all the Frank Lepores and all the multiverses, unfortunately. Or fortunately. It's probably better that I can't. Hmm. Savannah. I think being a fixed point across the multiverses is actually pretty dangerous. I don't know if I can handle that. Having one representation in all of the multiverses, that's a lot of responsibility, I think. I think we're going to take Lotus Cobra. I like the Savannah just because dual lands are dual lands, but Lotus Cobra is Lotus Cobra, and uh, we want all the creatures we can get. Little creatures. You need to go kill the other pranks to be stronger. Uh, I, I think that only works if I also absorb their power, if I also eat their heart to absorb their power. I'm not sure if I'm ready to do that yet, but I do, uh, I may consider it. I'm going to take this course I'm just like by default, just pulling it into the pile. It's a good, it's a good green boy. Oh, Sylvan Advocate. It's got to be Green Sun Zenith, right? Green Sun Zenith is just gas in this deck. I will take Green Sun Zenith. I didn't even care what you guys said. Kodama's Reach? Bayloth? See, I like to I like to I like to lure you guys in with the magic and then keep you around with the with the deep multiverse theory. That's what I'm going for here. Is it just Reach? Reaching McReacherson? Is it Bayloth? We could have had Savannah, Bayou, and Taiga. All of the blue green dual lands. We could have had them. Not not blue green, green. Just green dual lands. Uh, we took Bailoth because we ran out of time. Which is fine. I just wanted to pick something. Mm. 
Oh my god, Chad. That's ridiculous. The last time, Lord. Welcome. Glad you could finally catch a live viewing. Yeah, Mono Green's looking pretty alright right now. I'm okay with it. Remember that time I was like, Savannah, Bayou, uh, Taiga. Look at all the blue-green dual lands we could have gotten. None of them were blue-green. Ooh, Gear Hulk or Atarka? Ooh, Atarka. Ooh, Atarka with, with Green Sun Zenith? Gear Hulk's also very good. I'm going to reserve Atarka because I think it's super strong. What if we mimic that in Atarka? Can we do that? That's a thing we can do, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Wow. Wow, Mike. Really? Gear Hulk? Wow. 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 I'm pretty sure it's... Yeah, Oath is actually pretty good. Oath, Oath lets us play all kinds of things. Plus, we do have a lot of creatures, so I'm not too worried about it. Pulse shouldn't still be here either, I think, but uh, I don't want to branch out into colors that much. Maybe I do. I want to make sure nobody gets any green. Oh, wow. Nature's Voice is actually pretty good. <laughs> I'm actually 100% okay with that. And a throne. All right. So I guess we get just we just got all the cards that we would have wanted. The only this is the only pick that I think we messed up on just because it was an accident. Could have been a Kodama's Reach or uh, what was the other card? Taiga, which I think is still fine. Like we have Lotus Cobra and Green Sun Zenith to uh, facilitate this Dragon Lord of Tarka. Wow, Savannah or Rampant Growth? I think it's got to be Savannah here. It just lets us splash so much easier, especially with Nature's Lore. I don't care about another Rampant Growth effect. And the Bayou. And the Sylvan Advocate. Wow! Literally all the things. Holy smokes. This was another card I actually wanted. Cranky OM, what's going on? Gr glad you could make it. We've been waiting for you. This is actually an intervention, a cranky intervention. All right, this pack, not ideal. I do like both of these. I feel like it might just be Primal Command. We have, like, lots of things to grab with a Primal Command. And it's pretty versatile. I think it's probably much better than Solemn Simulacrum here. Ancient Tomb also an option, but I'm really not a big Ancient Ancient Tomb fan. We also do have uh, Bloodbraid Elf, and we can hit Genesis Wave or Green Sun Zenith, which is pretty terrible, unfortunately. I like Primal Command better than Avacyn's Pilgrim. I feel like cards like Avacyn's Pilgrim are very easy to pick up, whereas Primal Command has a pretty unique effect. I'm going to go Primal Command. There he is. There's your boy. This is a... I really want to take this Vraska, especially with the Bayou and the Oath of Nyssa, but I think like we're just taking Ruffalos. Not even close. This is like our perfect green draft right here. Dramoka? See, look, here's another Lana War Elf, which is actually better than uh, the Avacyn's Pilgrim. Also, a Farseek and a Distended Mindbender, which upon not playing. Emrakul actually seems pretty gas here. It's a good Emrakul, too. I don't think, I don't know if we're, are we going to be able to cast that dude? We have Rafelos and Cradle. I think it's ambitious. I think it's either Dramoka here or uh, Lana War Elves.
You think it's Emrakul? You guys are saying Emrakul? Are we just going to hard cast Emrakul in this deck? That's pretty... That's pretty... That's something. Alright, I'm going to take the Emrakul because you guys are actually... Uh, going pretty ham on Emrakul. We can also get like... Is there a way to cheat this guy into play? Acidic Slime or Nissa? Tooth and Nail. Tooth and Nail is true. Can we get an Emrakul under the Mimic Vat? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I think it's actually Nissa. Nissa plus Cradle is actually what I was thinking, where it just makes she makes creatures, and that's very, very good. I think Slime is good. Slime might even come back, but there's also a similar Slime effects like Reclamation Sage and stuff. I think having a three-mana green... Oh, boy. That's a late boy. Well, that's a thing. Oh, boy. So far, every card we've drafted is in our main deck, and I don't even think it's like... It's not just because we've been lazy about putting them in the sideboard. Literally, we could play any, every card we've drafted so far. That's pretty insane. I almost like Sword of Light and Shadow as a way to protect our guys. I almost like Regrowth as well. I don't think it's Wall. If this is an Overgrown Battlement, I'd definitely take it. But I think these two cards are actually stronger. Regrowth in the green deck is pretty good because it lets you buy back effects like Primal Command. Or if you if like you if you lose a Dragon Lord of Tarka, you can get it back. But if we're getting creatures back, I think it's actually sword. I like sword a lot. In the green deck, you have a lot of creatures that you want to get back. This card is busted every single time I get it in cube. It seems like a real like underwhelming card, but it's actually very good. I think it's Rampaging Bay Loss. I like Hermit a lot, but we're not opposition. And Hermit's a nice win condition. Or, uh, Bay Loss is a nice win condition. Yavimai Elder and a Rishkar. Hmm. I think my biggest problem with drafting mono a mono green deck like this is that I don't get to play my favorite land. So that's, that's a little frustrating, but... We could take this on Barrel Rice and actually cast both halves off of our Bio and our Savannah. Rishkar is ramp, but, like, he's not great ramp. Elder's also pretty good. What about an Elder under a Mimic Vat? That seems pretty good, right? Avacyn's Pilgrim came back. All right, Land of War Elves is probably going to be... In the next pack. Oh my god, the Vraska came back. Holy smokes. And the Land of War Elves came back. And the Dramoka came back. Oh my god. So we don't actually have to worry about a single thing. We just take all the cards that we want. And then we'll get the other cards that we want as well. Okay, well. And the Acidic Slime. Jesus Christ. And the Nissa. And both of the other two cards that we even considered are still in the pack. We are the only green drafter at this entire table. Not close. Last card of green? Last last card green? <laughs> My life has gone from okay to awesome in a moment. That's hilarious. We actually don't need any more cards. We can actually play the deck like this and we still have to make cuts. Oh, look, another, the third one of the Land of War Elves, Finhorn Elves trio. This might be a 60 card deck, I'll be honest with you guys. I always want to take Deathrite Shaman, but he's never any good in, uh, unless you have like a million fetch lands. It's got Elvish Mystic is so much better than than Death Rite. Death Rite, Mike, you gotta consider the Death Rite, you're never gonna actually activate the Exile Land ramp ability, and you're never gonna activate the black ability. So it's only like a one-two that just like gains you two life every so often. 
Oh, Karakong, ha happy anniversary. I'm, I'm glad we can spend it together. No other creature in this battlefield is controlling me to draw a card if its power is greater than... Yeah, we're not doing all that. Sprawl might be better than Mystic, just because it it has better interactions with untapping lands. And it also... Uh, we have a savanna and a bayou, so all of our lands are essentially going to be forests. Mystic is better with Cradle. I'm going to take the Mystic, actually, because of the Cradle interaction. Is this an order? Did we order this? How do we feel about this? Sacrifice a 1 to get a Rafelos. Sacrifice an Elder to get one of these guys. We have an Acidic Slime here. Multiple 2s. A 7. This could be a Birthing Pod deck. Oh, Sprawl will actually wheel, too. Wow. Serac, Foothills, and Top. Over Birthing Pod? Man, you guys were yelling at me yesterday to play Birthing Pod. Also, Pod is a good enabler to get our creatures in the graveyard, so we can put it on... I'm going to take the Pod. I think it's just a stronger card. I don't care about Foothills, really. I'm not going to put a mountain in our deck. Like, that's the bottom line. This deck is not going to have a mountain in it. Nissa is amazing. She gets us a forest and she flips into a planeswalker, which is very relevant. Yeah, Nissa's insane. It's just a great planeswalker. Master is pretty good. I know, I know, I just can't. You think Ma you think Explorer for Master when we already have Nature's Lore, Avacyn's Pilgrim, Elvish Mystic, Finhorn Elves, Landwar Elves, Rafelos? I feel like uh, I feel like it's Master. Master is a, is a really hard to deal with card, and uh, you really have to kill it. Carnage Tyrant? <gasps> Jiraga Tree Speaker? Oh, I th I'm pretty sure we're doing a 60-card deck, guys, just to be clear. Tree Speaker is the best card in this pack. It might be Carnage Tyrant though. I don't think Tree Speaker will wheel. I think Recruiter will 100% wheel. I'm going to take Tree Speaker. I think the other green creatures will wheel and I don't think this one will. I like Wickerball Elder probably than Green Warden. Green Warden does get us back two cards though which is pretty good. Yeah, you never pass Tree Speaker. I agree with that. Both of these are good. I love this ability because it's very relevant. Killing an artifact or an enchantment and making a 4-4. And Green Warden is... Uh, just a, I think this is a really strong guy. 5-4. Enters the battlefield, you regrow something. When it leaves, you regrow something. It's very good. I do like Wicker Ball, though. I think that the effect is more relevant. Even though we do have an Acidic Slime. Bird of Paradise. Okay. Garrick Relentless. Okay. I don't think we actually need these. I'm pretty sure we can actually just take Stomping Ground for Otarka. So that we have a land to fetch with like Primeval Titan. Or Nature's Lore. I like that. Sylvan Library. For the green deck that has it all. Eh, I was trying to get you a Christmas gift, green deck. I, but you have everything. What could you possibly need for Christmas? Uh get you a sylvan library uh, an eighth pick sylvan library okay well that seems good thank you i appreciate it all right now we get to see all the cards that we passed coming back to us so like the utopia sprawl this card's interesting add x mana where x is the greatest power among creatures you control so if you have a titan now you add six mana I don't think we need Utopia Sprawl. I do think Silvala is playable. And Sorok came back. We're going to need cuts in a 60 card deck. That is 100% accurate. Um, Considering Manic Vandal is the only off color card in our deck, I don't think that is silly, actually. There's a Sylvan Carry added that we wanted. 
yeah, sure. We are playing 60. Yes, we have to make we have to make no cuts as of now. There's the explorer we wanted. What if we just take Lightning Greaves and we can put it on things like Primeval Titan or Rampaging Beelthoth or Emrakul? I like that better, to be honest with you. That seems more fun. There's the Duskwatch Recruiter and also a Huntmaster of the Fells. This is probably the best green deck I've ever had. I'm going to take Duskwatch because it just lets us go through all of our guys. Like, if we if we can make, like, 9, 10 mana, we can activate Duskwatch Recruiter, like, three times in a turn. We have to make, like, four cuts to our... It's almost, a, it's almost a joke at this point, right? The, the last pick Garrick is almost a meme at this point, right? <laughs> there was no better card in that pack than a, than a four mana Garrick. Oh my god, dude. That's hilarious. Whoo, boy. All right. Well, if we 0-3, I'm pretty sure it's because we, uh, we're playing a 60 card deck. Actually, we can play 23 lands. We have enough guys to play 23 lands. So two cuts. We need to make two cuts. This deck looks amazing. I This deck looks like a blast. We can probably cut the regrowth. I don't think we need regrowth. I don't want to cut... Actually, Oath of Nyssa is probably pretty rough here. Like, we only have one Planeswalker, and she's pretty easy to cast to the Bayou. This is 37... Yeah, boop, boop. Do we have any white cards? Do we need Savannah for anything? I don't think so. I can actually see cutting Avacyn's Pilgrim. I could see cutting Serac for Oath of Nyssa. And we have 23 creatures, which is pretty much a lot. Uh, I definitely don't want to cut Wicker Ball Elder. I think Elder is... I think both Elders are great, especially if you can get them under Mimic Vets. Uh, Nissa, Three mana Nissa is also very good, especially because we have a Gaia's Cradle. Do we need Savannah for anything? Do we, do we figure that out? I don't think so. Yeah, I hope you were proud of yourself over that deck. I hope it was worth it. Obviously, just kidding. Good luck in the event you lose that. You'll be dead to me. <laughs> Brian, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Hopefully, we do not lose. But uh, stranger things have happened. This deck looks awesome. I think, like I said, if we lose, um, I, I imagine it's because we played 60 cards. I don't think we need Savannah. I think we only have, like, I like Oath because if we don't hit the black for some reason, we can still cast Vraska, but it also just lets us find something. What is it? Artifact, creature, creature planeswalker will land. Like, we're always going to hit. Make the cuts and play 40? Oh my god, that sounds like not no fun at all. Savannah is a free white source, but it also, like, it also, there is wasteland in the cube, you know? <clears throat> oh, Wicker Bolt, I don't think Wicker Bolt is sideboard. Guys, we don't have, actually, we don't have cards to put in the sideboard right now. This is our deck. We can trade Wicker Ball for, for Surak. 
but I don't feel comfortable just having acidic slime for um, for artifacts. Like I'd rather be able to birthing pod into a wicker bow elder if I need to. Like it's 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 there's definitely relevant situations where they have a sword or if they have like a, an enchantment or something. Like it's very relevant. And basics. Oh look, it doesn't even have any basics to add because it's like you you are your deck's already full. What are we gonna do, buddy? Look at this beautiful deck. <laughs> I like Bailoth because it dodges things like if they have a Liliana of the Veil, free card. Plus there's situations where the life is relevant. Like the, the thing is like with Gaius with Green Sun Zenith, Obstinate Bailoth, we're gonna draw it significantly less than a six card deck. And Green Sun Zenith is a good it's a it's it's nice to have a Bailoth if you need to gain some life off of a Green Sun Zenith. Right? So it's just it's just very versatile. Uh, I think 22 lands is fine when we have one, two, three, four, five one mana guys and one, two, three two mana guys that produce mana. Like, this is definitely a 22 land deck if I ever saw one. I'm going to let's let's see what happens. This is exciting. Actually, I do like the Savannah in case we're able to, like, I don't know, if something crazy happens. So we put the White Source in, and if we have a way to activate it somehow, I don't know. Maybe we have a card that steals something. Maybe I'm just look overlooking something, right? I don't know. But. Either way. 60 cards. Let's do it. I will play first. Deal. Keep it. Boop. Oh, rude. Why would you do a thing like that? Uh, yeah, I'll take this guy. All right, we're at, four, we're at four mana now. Or three mana with a bunch of fours in our hand is what I mean. Oh, they took two? They're basically dead. Oh, they didn't play anything. Oh, come on. Don't, don't do me like this. One land and I think we're in good shape. We just play Thrun. I feel like that's a... Oh, they're just going to... A Tarkus command? Magma spray? Alright, magma jet, whatever. Magma something. Magma magma not gonna work here anymore, that's for sure. Mm, okay. Land. Oh my god, we did it. Did it, boys. Do I just trade here and kill him to take three? I'm just going to run here. I would have blocked. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh huh? boy. Oh boy. Hmm. 
I'm just gain some life. We can save the Garrick until we... What if they got Skullcrack? Is Skullcrack in the cube? Guess not. Stagger Shock. Okay, so you just negated my Bayloth. That seems good. Bayloth just made them discard Stagger Shock. That seems pretty good. Roasty, toasty. Oh, so Bayloth traded a Stagger Shock and a Roast. That seems good. That also seems good. Now we're just going to play Garrick because we have multiple things to do next turn. So ideally we'll draw land, land. We can go Vraska into Bayloth and then play a land. Sure. I'm just going to kill this guy. We'll take three. I don't really want to swing because, like, I don't think we win this race. If they play Bloodbraid Elf and get another Haste guy, I'm going to do it anyway because I'm risky. Because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a libtard, but. All right, go to 12. Yep, that's pretty terrifying. Any land off the top is great because we can kill the Hellkite. That does put us to seven, though. And that's actually pretty good. That was actually a pretty decent draw. <laughs> wow, just keep on chaining Obstinate Balos. <laughs> Deal. This game seems real close. Gaining three a turn is very good. And we can gain actually seven next turn. So we're actually going to go to 12. Unless they can kill us with their last two cards. And they can put us to one. Okay. If we had the Serac in our deck, we could actually just win right now. Are there any haste creatures in our deck that we can get? I don't know. I'm really uncomfortable right now. This is really ironic if we took the Serac out. So four, five, six, seven, we go to eight, and we go to one. I think we're still fine. So we go to five. This game's just three, right? Okay. If they don't draw one damage. And I think this is actually pretty insane for a uh, 60 card deck. All right. Oh, man. Woo. Woo. Alright, so now we're going to take out Elder because it doesn't look like they're an Elder deck. We're going to bring in Serac. The haste seems relevant. Wow, what a game. That was great. Uh, Jermoka does not have haste and we also don't have a Jermoka, so that is wrong on many counts. Nissa would have been a good uh, draw. Acidic Slime would have done anything. Anything else hasty? Not really. I don't think we're at a point where we have to add a land yet. The only We couldn't get to six mana, but I think that's actually fine. Like, we got to five very, very easily. And we also, this hand is just fine. We're going to play this guy first because if they kill it, that's better for us.
Magma dudes, sure. Wow. I'm going to take Primeval Titan. Like it. If they want to spend their burn on our dorks, cool. Knock yourself out. Yep, you got it. Well, we get no play, but they haven't really done anything either, so... Yeah, you meant a Tarka, but it was actually a Colagon who has haste, so... You're getting your dragons all mixed up. Oh, that's fine. I will actually shoot this, make a Garrick, flip a Garrick. Bloodbird Elf? Hell Rider, that's a good one. This is an easy attack. Attack our face. Redirect to Garrick. Yeah, they were trying to figure out if they can do that. No, you can't do that. Sorry, you got to attack Garrick directly. Sorry, buddy. This guy's freaking me out a little bit. I don't like this sitting in the graveyard. We just happen to draw all the planeswalkers. Mountain. All right, well, whatever you're doing. Thunder My Hawkite. Sarkhan the Dragon Speaker. Well, that's good times. So four to you, four to me, five to me. Oh, boy. Wow, this is a lot of lands. Remember when you guys were like, add another land. Wow, one year. Happy one year anniversary, Robert. Appreciate it, buddy. Get a red and a cradle, I guess. No, I will not pay two life. All right. I see. <laughs> Thanks for confirming. You're dead. <laughs> All right. All right. Wish we took that Jermoka now, guys, but uh, we did not. I think Arctic still seems fine. I'm still okay with all of it, so. Hmm. 
All right, let's try this again. Oh, this hand looks great. All right, let's do it. I feel like mono red in this cube is pretty strong because it actually, it's a, um, they have arc trail. That's really frustrating. Uh, it's, it's really strong because it feels like they don't have, um, the decks aren't fast enough to beat the mono red decks. Here we go. Everybody's dead. Wow. That's actually great. That's sad. If we had that last turn, we could have played that with Lotus Cobra instead and then still play Serac this turn. This also leaves us at 7 instead of 8, which is pretty frustrating. Whatever, we'll get in there for 1. Mountain. All right, that's good. That's a good hit. Oh, they played their mountain first. That's great for us. I am thrilled. Let's see what we hit here. What if we're the aggressive deck this time? A rampaging bellus and acidic slime. Ooh, boy. I guess we just go with Baloths here. Nah, I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with slime here. I'm actually gonna attack with all these guys because we have Sylvan Library now. Deal. Oh, oh, okay. If they had a burn spell, it would have been real sad. But I don't think they did because they, I don't think they would have actually. Uh, they would have actually let not let one of these guys survive, so. That's annoying. That's really annoying, actually. Yep, I will not be. We still win this race, which is pretty good. They were they did manage to kill all of our guys. Yep, let's see what we get. Um, God, do we, do we just pay the mana here? I feel like we have to, right? Yeah, we can survive a turn and, um, like they're not going to deal us 13 here. Even if they go Thunder My Hellkite. Bloodbird Elf. Glorybringer is really good. Oh my god, I just want to destroy this. <sighs> yep. Definitely blocking here. Yeah, this is pretty bad. Oh, look who decided to join the party. It's it's Michael B. Oh, good. A, a chicken. A beautiful chicken. Really? Really? Any land here would be amazing because then we can sword. Ugh. Hello. Do I know you? Maybe.
this guy does nothing here. Plus they just kill it, I guess. I don't know. We go to one. We hope they don't have a, a way to... Oh, they got Rift Bolt suspended. We're actually dead. All right. Well, that was fun. You got a little water there? Just a little bit. Yeah? You believe in coasters? Do you have any coasters? Do you? No. Why don't you go get one? Where are they at? You wear the coasters? There's like 20 of them on the table. All right. Oh my God. I can't deal with you when you're like this. <laughs> I mean, let me get a look at that deck. No. Dang. Oh, all green, huh? Why can't I see the deck after I start the match? I don't understand. Is a good question. Like, I wish I could just see my deck. Like, there's tutor effects in the format. I don't understand. Can I just see my deck? How's that coaster going? I'll get it. Oh, okay, good. That's a keep. Yeah, it's fine. You got to do with oath. We that the thing is to play. What's your problem? I don't need you coming in here. And and talking about my keeps, bro. I don't feel like... Okay, here. Let me go to my collection tab. Let's let's see how easy that is. All right. Minimize this first window. Go to my collection tab. Then we got to go to freeform. Nope, not that one. Okay, so freeform... Van nope, not that one. Um, where? Where again? Momer basic. Vintage. Nope, nothing there. Trade binders. Nope. Where, where again? I, yep, alright, cool. I'm just gonna go back to the game now, cause, uh... Oh, Sylvan Carry added? I can put the Lightning Greaves on there? Man, what a world. I have no idea what to pick here. Could be Nissa. Drafts are in free form. I literally just looked in there. You guys saw me look in there. Free form. There's literally three decks in here. It's literally all there is. All right. Maybe it's free form Vanguard. Oh yeah, let's look in there. Nope, just one. Okay, now we're done. We figured it out. It's not in there. Good to know. Hunter, stop. All right, cool. We'll just take that. We'll take this because we have two equipment, so. I didn't even get your Coldplay reference. I didn't even read it, buddy. It's okay. Get over it. You'll be fine if I didn't smile at your Coldplay reference. I don't even know who Coldplay is. Is that a, is that a Nickelback? Do they want me to look at their photographs? Are they the ones that always make me laugh? Look at this graph. <laughs> are you going to force spike this? What are you going to do? Force away my lightning greaves? Uh, you can go to view sideboard. You can't view your deck. Well, I'm just getting frustrated. Like, lots of things just culminated into making me frustrated at this one moment. Mike wasn't using a coaster. Hunter's in the background making infinite noise chasing his tail. I lost that game because we couldn't get a fifth land in time. Um, what else was there? Oh, I can't find my deck. Yep, they're just going to negate it. Sure. Yeah, great. Congratulations. Congratulations. I don't know who Nick Lepore is. I don't know what that means. Cool. Cold Steel Heart what you have that's what your mom has she has cold steel farts hmm look at Mike's photograph look at this wolf getting in there I 
Nicolpore. Okay, that's pretty funny. That's actually funnier then. I got you. I got you. All right, I'm done now. I'm gonna I'm gonna wipe the salt off my face. We'll see. Don't, don't you talk to me? Oh yeah. Did they not do anything? They just cracked a fetch and passed. Give me these wolves. In response, kill them both. Michael Bears, no big deal, buddy. Good games. Your deck was good. So, no hard feelings. Cube is cool. Wow. Why would you do this? Now I just get to play Anissa? That's cool. Can you give a stop? Hunter. Stop. I will block. No? Okay. You want to attack? All right. That's a good dude. One mana shy. One mana shy shy. <laughs> Actually, maybe I just emblem her. It's a pretty good emblem. It's not bad. We don't have any lands right now, though. Put you on there. Do, 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 do. Oh, all right. Oh, boy. <sighs> Like you do. Guess we kill a Grave Titan. No more gravy for you. And then Nissa dies. Cool. If only I had creatures in my graveyard, that would be great. Sure. Yep, all done. Why didn't you just play that? <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, God. Infuriating. All right, we're going to bring this guy in again. Oh, we're doing a sixty card step, huh? No, it just had I just drafted all the cards and they ended up being a lot, so I'm just frustrated. I'm just frustrated. So I like this deck. This deck was super fun. It seems super awesome.
sure. Uh, Sorok wasn't good enough at first, and then against you, we literally could have won our game if we had access to him. Uh, you were at 8, I believe, and or 6, and we had Thrun out, and if we could have searched up Sorak with Green Sun Zenith, we could have won, but... We did not have him, so it was it was it's pretty good. He's pretty good to have a haste guy in the main deck. All these free lands we're getting, these these free colors we're getting here. We could basically play five colors now. We could play Chromanticore now. Should have lit with Savala. I know we know they have sensor. Unless we hit a one or two drop here, we're probably just gonna play that instead. We'll play Lotus Cobra. Dissolve. Sure. Nobody cares. Who even cares about your stupid disallow? My dad. Your dad doesn't care about anything. Except for his cigarettes. You might be right. I know. So four, five, six... I'll say a blue. So what are they going to flash in? Nothing? All right. Well, we'll just attack then. We'll deal you two. Okay. Good for you. I'm waiting for them to play something stupid so that we can Genesis wave for free, but... Why you no do that? I don't think asking for Genesis Wave to win a game is too much. I think it's actually just enough. Primeval Titan? That's pretty good. Alright, well you don't have Tefri mana anymore, so... Maybe the snake can go the distance. Maybe it can go for speed. It's all alone. All alone. All alone. In the in its time of need. Oh, wow. Sylvan Library. Gen oh, God. Here we go. The nightmare is real. Yep. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can Genesis Wave for five. There you go. Hit them all. Draw all the cards you want. Keep drawing. Draw 10. There you go. You did it. Nailed it. You, wow, there we go, that's good. That's what you wanted. And we are one land shy of playing 
primal command. Hooray. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have eleven mana. Man, a quick 0-2 with this deck, which is unfortunate. This is like the perfect green deck. I wonder if uh I wonder if it's possible to actually win with a mono green deck in this cube. Probably. I'm probably, I'm sure someone will be like, you need this, 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 and this to win with the green deck. Cool. <laughs> oh, cool. No, no attacks? Okay. Well, let's draw you six more cards. Just about. <clears throat> well, it's exactly six more cards. Well, eight more cards, I guess. I guess we're drawing eight more cards. No, six more cards. Maybe he'll uh, he'll mill himself to death. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine. We can play both of these. I'll put you on top because I don't care about you. There you go, 14 cards in your deck. That's pretty good. Still going to play around sensor because... Gain 7, put a non-creature permanent on top of Sensor's library. Gain 7, target player shuffles his graveyard. I don't think the, the putting card on top even matters at this point. I guess we can... I don't want to shuffle your graveyard in there. You do have Chainer's Edict, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. I guess we just gain 7 and search. Yeah, that's probably the best. <clears throat> I have Negate. Joke's on you. Ha ha ha. One of my 13 cards is a Negate. Um, none of these cards, none of these creatures do anything really. Whatever, Primeval Titan at least kills them. <laughs> Atarka doesn't really do much here. Like, it just, it doesn't kill this. It attacks, but like so does Primeval Titan, and it actually thins our deck out a lot. I'd rather have a six-six that gets four lands out than a an eight-eight that doesn't do anything else. Hmm. Yep, cool. Now you can attack for four. You can play Trainer's Edict. Maybe sacrifice this guy. Run can't be countered, but what's the point? Like, they just block it with a 4-4. Four, four, or a 4-6. He also can't attack. <laughs> so, doesn't really do anything. What's up, Mike Mint? Yeah, everything we play is going to get countered. They have 11 cards in their hand. I appreciate your, your, your astuteness, Robert. We're not going to mill them because they can just choose not to draw.
Oh, I thought we had one more, so now they're actually going to get value out of their cancel. This is like really frustrating. Yep, they could not they could not actually tap their mana faster. That's unbelievable. Yep. All right, game 3. Sweet. <laughs> well, they could not have tapped that mana any faster. Another blue deck. What a surprise. Well, we're playing 60 cards, so Negate. Negate. Is he going to negate your courser? Yeah, he's going to negate it because it's an enchantment, you stupid idiot. God, I hate you. Oh, wow. I didn't know. Now you know. Now you know that you're stupid. Hmm. I didn't know that worked that way. Yeah. Stupidness does as stupid is. Remember Heavy that? Heavy is the crown. Heavy is the head with the crown is what I always say. Oh, you're going to counter this one instead. Okay. Oh, I don't care about that idiot. I guess we should have attacked first because I didn't think about Spellqueller. My bad. My bad, Magic fans. One, two, three, four. I guess we're drawing this so that land on top. It's not going to be a land on top. Did we lose because we had 60 cards? I don't think that really makes any sense. Was that post combat glorious anthem? Like you do. That's interesting. That's an interesting feature. Well, that's how we win, I guess. Like you do, Mitchell. God, Hunter is real loud today. A Sylvan Avocado. Wow. Wow. That's old school. That's an old meme. That checks out. Who checked it out? Your mom checked it out. She checks everything out. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing here? Destroy all other permanents except for lands and tokens. <laughs> well, this is pretty. This is going well. And we get to draw another forest. That's cool. Remember when you guys were like, put less forest in the, put more land in the deck. Five, six. We can Genesis Wave for three. We'll, we know we'll hit a Mimic Vat. Actually, that's probably reasonable at this point. It's not great, but it's it's reasonable. And we got to hit one card. Cool. And we get an Emrakul on top. That's going to go well. Maybe in the future. Love drawing that Emrakul. We got a we got an old gen we got a primeval titan and a birthing pod in our trash can now. Get to draw the Emrakul. Actually, we should have attacked there because then they go into the birthing. They go in the mimic vat. Not feeling good about this this game, unfortunately. Really? Really? Oh, boy. It's old Icefall Reggiano. You're at 22. Why wouldn't you attack with the other guys, too? I don't understand what's going on here. Look at this graph. I wish I had a way to deal with flying creatures because this is literally the um, 
This is literally the way we've lost all these games. We lost game one. We lost to Glorybringer and Rekindling Phoenix and um, what was the other stupid idiot? Thunder My Hellkite. Game two, we lost. Round two, we lost to. Uh, I totally forgot already. Consecrated Sphinx. Game three, we lost to Icefall Region and Spell Queller. So, you know, if they put a plummet in the cube, that'd be nice. All right. Eight mana. Almost there. So close. Yep. Gonna, gonna scoop this game up. All right. Seems good. How about Hey Sky? <clears throat> See, Wicker Ball Alder would have been great there. Regrowth also pretty good there. So long, Emrakul. Isn't Mike a plumber? Is that like a person who eats plums? Cloud Thrusher would be nice in this form, but even that guy only does two, so it wouldn't have killed any of the other guys. We could flash it in and hope to block them, but... Still not... Super ideal. It's a scary spooter. What's a scary spooter? Cloud Thrusher. That ain't a spooter. Yeah, it is. It's an elemental. It's a spooter. Have you seen it? Yeah, it's an element. What's wrong with you? 100% spooter. Why are you the way that you, that you are, do you think? I don't know. I'll look into it. Oh, what up, Scotland? Xander Funda, thank you so much, man, for hanging out. Really appreciate it. I'll keep this hand. Cool. Turn two Nissa off a cradle. From a cradle to the grave. That's what I always say. He's never said that. Also, we are playing a 60-card deck, so... You know. Kapow. Don't mana tide me. Oh my god, I would have I would have I would have literally thrown my computer on the ground and, and burned my house down and left. And I would have just walked the earth at that point. Hmm. Land is good there. I like land. Oh I, I like land. That's cool. So what do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana here. That's a... Oh, that's a good one. I see. I think we just won the game with this one card. Always yes, always yield. Don't care about yeah, it. Yeah, guys, Cradle's a fair card. Yep, it's only getting better. Now we're going to wish we drew the Emrakul, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After we play a land and make a Nissa token. So it's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have thirteen mana next turn. I guess we drew the best card we could possibly draw when we have land in hand. Oh, I guess we just win that game. That's cool. R R Rampaging Baleth is, is a good card. I guess we did fine there, so I guess we just keep going. Keep rolling it out. Keep rolling that dough. Roll that beautiful Bailoth footage. Don't say roll that dough, you pervert. Why not? Because nobody likes you, that's why. Nobody? Not one person likes you. I don't believe it. Prove otherwise. Well, let's take a poll. Mm. God, I feel like I just take the land here. I gotta take the land here. You don't want to be greedy? I, I do. I do want to be greedy. But it's not it's not the right thing to do. Really? Michael Barbobly Boo for aeroplane ticket. Oh my god. I'm just playing this guy here. Uh the guy in the chat who did the uh, the the Mike the Mike and Frank and Sphinx photoshops was a uh, Gunker Doll, otherwise known as Daniel. Oh, they missed the land drop. I think this is our only way to win this game. 
Oh, they ousted our guy. That's rude. What's it like being that a rude? A little bit. Guess we just play this idiot. But they gained us life, so now we can't lose. Hmm. Solid strategy, right? Oh, charting a course? A bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. Look, people in the chat like you. Good, yeah. for, you. Good for you, buddy. Yeah. Good for you. God, you grew up so fast. You son of a bitch. Sometimes you, you, your friends are so young and disliked, and then they grow up so fast and they're likable people. It's so weird. Look, who, look who we found. Look who we found. He was just wandering around the mall. You should print Mike B merchandise. That's actually a good idea. What if we just printed a shirt with Mike B's face on it? Am I allowed to wear one? Yeah, you are encouraged to wear one. But the shirts are going to be green, and Mike Mike's face is going to be like black, so you can, so it'll look like he's not wearing anything, but a silhouette of his face will be on his chest. Okay, good talk. Good talk. What are they doing here? Going to wrath of God? Day of judgment? Wrath of judgment? Day of God? That's Sunday, you know. Day of God. Verdict? What did they do? Into the royal of my guy again? Wow, this is yeah, so greedy, sure. dude. Oh, I got two of them now. Joke's on you. And you're at 16? You can't win this game. Come on, stop playing. Quit playing. You'll never stop the Barbobbly boys. Oh, those Barbobbly boys are out again. Now they're going to get the three for value. And they're just going to wipe the board. You ready? Mm hmm. I think I got my step. I would love to see you do a reanimator, but I'm okay if you do an Esper if reanimator isn't there. Okay, so reanimator first, then Esper. Okay. I think we can do that. Mike loves reanimator, so he'll be good with that. Yeah. Chad, can you let me know if Gristle Dad is in this cube? Or anyone for that matter? I assume he is, but I haven't seen him yet, so it's weird. Really? Wow. You were so worried about these guys. Now you let me keep them. Well, you can come down next turn if we can hit a red source or Ruski. Which we can, because we actually just play Vraska here. Kill the sower. And that's our red source. <laughs> Oh, that's gas. That's gasoline. Uh, Chad Chad has donated to a stip in, in so much as he has been uh, like one of my top three longest subs. And he also bought both me and Mike Maggiano's when he was in town last week. So that's pretty close to donating for a stip. I, I imagine that's almost the same thing. Um, so I guess we just play a Tarka, kill this guy, deal three to you, and then kill you too. That seems good, right? I guess we're hoping for the no, uh, the no, uh, the no mana tithe, no force spike, no force of will. They did not have it. Okay. I feel like we're doing okay here. I think we're doing these. Shoulder is good. I'll keep this in mind. Dece? I think we're doing Dece plus. What's that? It's with, it's it's like Dece, but a little one one little a little bit higher. Okay, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Little bits. Little bits. Swords to plowshares. All right, good deal. You get to keep you your Gideon. Atarka live. Wow, you really. You so, yeah, you swords that instead of the Atarka. That is a. Uh, 
Bold strategy, oh, Cotton. All right, you get it. You get, you get another. You get another gentleman, I guess. This guy is haste now too. You said Amber and I drafted Reanimate last night, and she is our main game ender. And I thought you meant Amber was. And I'm like, what does that mean? Does she? Do you let her, like, click the button when you attack, or what? How does that work? Galta, is any good in the cube? Um, is it in the cube? I have not seen it once. Played against me, or alright, 40 points. Not bad, the old 1-2 with our 60-card deck. Actually terrible. Uh, I think our matches could have went better. But I also think drafting a 60-card deck does handicap you some. When you have to, like, you're forced to take your less desirables over your more desirables, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, deck was super sweet. I think it was awesome. One of the more powerful green decks that I could expect, considering that, like, basically the entire cube was like, here, take all these green cards. It's every green card available because no one else is going to play them. And then we just had a 60 card deck. But either way, it was still fun. So sorry about the salt. Hope you guys don't mind. Thank you guys for watching. Hit those subscribe and like buttons, and I'll see you next time. He won't, though, because he's actually blind. What?